So hi, I'm Charlie Borman and I'm standing here beside Simon's bike and I'm, I'm actually very honoured to be standing here actually because I first heard about this CAR ride um, up, up north uh, through a friend of mine called Billy Ward and, and, and I became very attached to the idea and, and, and what had happened, he was a great policeman and, and like all good people, um, disappeared too early. And so I thought, you know, I thought it'd be lovely to come down here to, at the bike shed and, to, and to, to, to meet up with the guys and, and see his bike in person, finally. Beautiful triumph. Alongside these Kberg helmets riding to the Arctic, there are five of us on uh, Triumph motorcycles. My dearest and oldest friend in motorcycling is a lady called Julia Jacobs now. I've known her since she was Julia Wright when we were teenagers. Um, she entered the police force in Thames Valley back in 1979 and became the first female class one police motorcyclist in Thames Valley Police. She's a brilliant lady and equally brilliant is her son, uh, Paul, who is also a biker. He's very close to the same age Simon would have been had he been with us on this ride today. Um, he's a biologist and conservation minded guy, which is always awesome. Another guy who is um, sadly not with us today because he's already gone with his Triumph 1200 to Germany is Tony Weston. And Tony Weston is an archer supreme. He is the leading field archery champion of the UK. Wonderful guy. And um, Tony's in Germany meeting us up in the uh, north of Denmark on um, Sunday night slash Monday morning. And then the new guy, the new guy on the block is Pepe Belmonte. Pepe and I rolled up from Hastings Pier this morning. First time motorcycles have ever been on Hastings Pier. And uh, Pepe is a super guy. He's a musician and a multi-talented guy. This, this is the gang, um, including one of Her Majesty's finest. Dave is riding the police bike that's gonna take us out of London. So, Paul has set up a couple of Just Giving pages and you can follow those on Facebook, um, Caddy's Arctic Ride or Car Caddy's Arctic Ride. Um, one is to COPS, which is... Uh, care of Police Survivors. Care of Police Families Survivors. Of police Officers Who Have Died. Yeah, yeah uh, who have been lost on duty. And, um, and the other one is a real dear favourite of Simon and his brother Alex's and mine, and that's Raptors of the Rockies in Montana. Um, wonderful, wonderful organisation run by a delightfully brilliant eccentric lady called Kate Davis. It's a tough day for me <clears throat> in many ways because I've worked two years to get this happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, and now that it is, power is, is coming back and, <laughs> and because I'm here <clears throat> with an absolute god of motorcycling and my son's bike oh yeah I couldn't be happier so thank you oh pleasure no listen it's a pleasure yeah. but you know you're doing you're doing a, a fabulous ride out and it is hard to put these things together and and very emotional as it well is. so it but then, you, you know I, I think it's always one of those things you know someone would want you to have a good time oh yeah and yeah. and so part of this is to is to mm. sort of is to put certain things to bed yeah. and, and 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 so yeah. you pop out the other side mm. you know a little bit more yeah you maybe maybe a little bit more kind of sort of relaxed and and, and so. you know it, and that's what's partly one of the most wonderful things about riding motorbikes is is that there is a it's a, it's a tremendous sort of therapy as well as anything it's else and, yeah. but listen, you're gonna have a good time enjoy and um, you know, so I'll be much. thinking of you guys as Thank you go you. along, and be you. slightly jealous of, of, of where, um, where you're going. I've never ridden that part of the world. Well, that's um, that's kind of it from the bike shed in London. Um, I just wanted to emphasise once more how grateful we all are to Kberg in the UK for these lids. Thank you, Kberg. Brilliant design, brilliant helmet. We'll bring it back from the Arctic and talk to you again. Stay safe.